Are you seeing this? Look at it! Look at this! Ugh! Is this the next Gen Z 200 or the Rusi Gamma 200? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, right. Aight, serious na. This bike that you see here, my dudes, was just recently launched in Thailand called Demon GR200 Single Ah, from a company called GPX. Started in Thailand taong 2007. By that time, ATV off-road vehicle pa lang ang meron sila. Ba, syempre dahil na rin sa lakas ng demand ng motor sa Thailand, kaya nakipagsabayin at gumawa na rin sila ng kanilang off-road bikes. At hanggang sa tuluyan na nga nila mo ng motor ang brand na GPX that we see today. Huwag ka my dude. Top 3 best selling motorcycle brand na sila ngayon sa Thailand. Sugoy, Desne! And I'm sure yung mga Rusi Classic user dyan is tested and proven na nila yan. Diba mga gentle dudes? What? Hindi mo pa narinig o nakita ang mga motor nila sa personal? Siguro naman familiar sa iyo ang motor na to. Or eto. At ito. That's right my dude. Sa kanila galing ang mga motor na to. At hindi gawa ni Rusi. Dahil nirebrand lang nila ito pagdating dito sa Pinas. So dude, ibig sabihin ba nito Thai bike ang mga to? Not quite my dude. Ang GPX is a legit Thai motorcycle manufacturer at sila ang gumagawa ng kanilang frame chassis, bodywork and halos lahat. Pwera lang sa makina na gawa ng Lonsin motorcycle sa China. Ba sa station ng GPX ang kanilang Thai and Japanese engineers ay nandun mismo sa planta ng Lonsin para mamonitor ang quality ng malapitan. So... Always remember dude, gawang Chinese bike, hindi lang gawang China bike. Excellent. Daming sat sat, oh eto na, pag-usapan na natin kung ano bang meron sa demonyong ito. Engine specs, 198cc, single cylinder, 4 stroke, 6 speed gearbox, with GPX FI technology and BS6 compliant na rin siya. With liquid cooled engine that puts out 17.2 Nm of torque at 6500 RPM. No official horsepower number yet. But the estimated power output is between 16 to 19 horsepower. Eh dude, mas malakas pa din ang R15B3. Na 150. <coughs> Moving on sa looks and features. Before we get started my dudes, let's take a moment of silence just to appreciate the art that was put into this bike. Hmm. Kalma, equipped with full LED lighting system na siya all the way to the back. And I'm sure iniisip nyo na ginaya sa YZF-R1 and CBR250RR at Ducat ang design ng motor na to. Yes, hawig yung LED strip sa 2015 version R1, pati na rin yung integrated side panel fairing with LED light system. And yung aggressive design ng cbr 250 R. Then yung LED brake light na kagaya ng sa Ducat. But still, kudos to GPX for coming up with a such mwah, magnificent design. Personally, I like it. And I'm sure you do. <laughs> Meron din itong non-adjustable inverted forks. Then a 7-step preload adjustable YSS monoshock sa likod. Oh yes! YSS. No need for unnecessary modification, my dudes. Then a full color TFT LCD display that shows pretty much all you need. Meron na din itong hydraulic disc with two piston caliper sa harap and disc brake sa likod. Sadly, walang ABS. Wheelbase is 1340mm. At haba na 2020mm. And seat height na 815mm. Medyo may kataasan at bigat na 150kg. Fuel tank capacity is a massive 11 liters. And lastly, value for money. GPX Demon GR200 single A ah, is priced at 80,000 baht. And in Philippines, that's 128,584 pesos. Based on what it offers, para sa akin, sakto lang. Kung titignan mo yung on-hand pictures, mukha naman decent quality yung mga parts na ginamit and a solid overall body work. At kung gawang lonesin ang makina, panigurado, good item to mga dude. So, is there any chance na makapasok ito sa Pinas? 
why not pop nut? Lalo't pa ngayon nung mahataw na rin ang mga Chinese brand sa atin. But since kakalunch lang netong Demon GR200R is baka matagalan pa to makarating sa atin. Dahil panigurado papakyawin to ng mga taga Thailand. At sinabayan pa ng pandemic. Ay nako. Maka shoutout na nga lang.